Katie and I have done a, a couple of different samples from a couple of different pieces of water here this morning before we start our float and it's it's really always a good idea of course I don't do it every time that I go fishing but you know at least a couple of times a year to give you an idea of what bugs are prevalent when and uh, you know because of doing this we found a ton of March brown nymphs so quite frankly I'm going to put on a big soft tackle pheasant tail jig and then uh, should be enough Hendrickson still around uh, that I'm going to fish a, a trailing merger off the end there of course uh, crane fly larva, no big secret, that's almost always on the end of my line, especially here on the Mad River in Ohio. About eight or nine different species of mayflies that we're, we'll be looking to hatch over the next two months. Lots of caddis larva too, lots of caddis larva, lots of midges of course. The food source in this river is just uh, absolutely amazing, but the river can always tell you what to fish.